Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about our plugin Jeet WooCommerce Affiliate. Once the users register on our affiliate program, they will begin to generate sales and therefore they will begin to earn commissions. So today we're going to learn how we can proceed to pay those commissions to our affiliates. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now let's start! Okay guys, we're here inside our plugin. And as we mentioned, today we're going to learn how we can process the payment of the commissions. Basically, the plugin has two alternatives, either to do it manually or automatically. So in the case of the manual process, after enabling the related option, which I'm going to show you in just a few moments, we can go to our affiliates list. So from the affiliates tab, we click on affiliates list. And from here, we can click on the options and as you can see, we will find the option to pay the commissions via direct bank wire transfer. So in this case, we need to manage this process individually for each of our affiliates, making use of the payment details they have entered from their dashboard. For example, their IBAN, bank number, and so on. So basically, with the manual option, we will make the payment to each affiliate one by one outside of the plugin, for example, through the bank transfer, and then through the plugin, we simply need to come here and click on the related option just to confirm the payment has been made. So, as you can see, this might not be the best solution to handle the payment of the commissions. So, let's continue and review what other options are available in our plugin. For that, let's go over now to our General Options tab. In here, we're going to click on Commissions and Payments. From this tab, we will find the other options we can configure to manage the payments. Specifically, we need to scroll down to this section, Payment Options, and as you can see, right now the payment type has been set to manually. But if we open, we're going to find some other options available. For example, we can decide to proceed with the payment either automatically when reaching a minimum threshold, automatically on a specific day of the month, automatically on a specific day of the month if a minimum threshold is reached, automatically every day, or simply let the user request the payment. Of course, if we select any of these options, for example, this one, then we will find some new options to further customize it. But for now, I want to focus on the option to let the users request the payment, because this is actually one of the most common options used on affiliate programs. So let's have a look at what other options we will have available. First, we will be able to set a payment threshold, which will be the minimum amount that the affiliate must earn to allow a payment to be issued. In this case, we can leave this $20 set as the payment threshold. So all of our affiliates will need to earn at least this amount before they can request the payment of their commissions. Then we can find this option to require an invoice which we can enable or disable. But if we do enable it, then we will be able to choose how we want the affiliates to generate the invoices. For example, let the users upload their custom invoices, generate invoices from the customer's data, or let the users choose their preferred method. In this case, I am going to leave this last option. Then over here, we can also upload an invoice example. Then we can enter our company's details over here, we can decide on the invoices fields, so from this section, we can decide exactly which fields we want to require in our invoices. Then, we have the option to whether or not show the terms and conditions field, and if we do, of course, we can also enter the terms and conditions label, the terms and conditions URL, and the text. Finally, we can decide if we want to send an email to the admin to inform them whenever a payment has been issued. Now, how exactly does it work when we decide to use a different payment method from the manual option? Well, for this, we need to take a look right here at this table for the payment gateways. In this case, for our plugin Jeet WooCommerce Affiliates, we have included some integrations to different payment gateways to enable this automatic process. At the moment, if we notice, we only have enabled this option to pay through direct bank wire transfer but we can also easily enable different options. For example, if we take a look here at PayPal MassPay, 
In this case, we have already configured this gateway, so we can simply enable it as well. Additionally, we have also integrated our plugin with GIF WooCommerce account funds, GIF PayPal payouts for WooCommerce, and GIF Strat Connect which, if we notice, at the moment we have already installed and configured, so we also have it enabled to activate. And let's do that right now. So, let's go ahead and save the options so we can go back to the affiliates list to show you the new options that will be available now. Okay, let's take again our affiliate John Doe, which we already know has an amount ready to be paid. So, if we go over to the options, Right here, besides the payment of the commissions via bank transfer, we're also going to find the payment of the commissions via PayPal MassPay and via Stripe Connect. Of course, these processes would be handled automatically, so you would not have to worry about activating the option and then doing the payments manually. In this case, the plugin will handle everything for you. Now, in our specific example, as we have decided to let the users request the payment, it will be first up to the affiliates to decide when they want to make the payment request. So the admin will receive the request and he can, in a simple click right here from the options available, complete the payment. To see this more clearly, let's see an example. As I am already registered as an affiliate, I have completed some orders with my referral ID. So I have earned some commissions, which we can find right here. This is my username, Maria, and over here we can find the amount that I have available as commissions, which is 157 with 64 cents. So if we go now to my affiliate dashboard, from here we can also find all the details of my commissions. We can see the total earnings, and if we go to the commissions tab, we can find a more detailed view for each of the commissions. However, for the moment, I actually want to focus on the process of requesting the payment. And for that, we need to go over to the Payments tab, and right here, we'll need to click on this button to request the withdrawal. So, let's see how we can complete this process. When we click on this button, we will get this model window, and automatically, in this field, we're going to see reflected the total amount of the commissions we have available, so the total of the 157 with 64 cents. Of course, it will be possible for the affiliate to enter here a different amount as long as it is compatible with the settings established. Because if you recall, we had configured in the plugin settings a minimum threshold of $20. So, for example, if I try to enter here to withdraw only $10, we can see it does not allow this amount to be entered. And the same will happen, for example, if I try to enter a higher amount than the one I have available. So if I try to enter $200, it also remains unavailable. But if I want to enter, for example, only $100 and not the complete $157, then it is totally possible. Then below, we're going to find all the details of our billing info, which is all the information that the affiliates are able to enter from the settings tab. And over here, we can also decide if we want to attach our PDF invoice or if we want to allow the plugin to generate an automatic invoice. For the moment, I'm going to leave this option. Then we need to assign an invoice number, just any number. Let's go with 55. And then we need to check the terms and conditions. Finally, we will be ready to request the withdrawal. So let's go ahead and click on the button to create our invoice and our request. And we will get the confirmation message. Okay, now that we have completed our request, we can see it reflected right here. We can find the date, the amount, and the status, which right now is still on hold. So let's go over now back to the admin side so we can see it from there. Now, inside the plugin, we need to go to the Commissions tab and click on Commissions Payment. Over here, we will find our new request, which we have created for the affiliate Maria. We can see the amount $100 in the status that is still on hold. So, to proceed with the payment, we simply need to click on the options and then click on Pay via Stripe Connect. And, as simple as that, in a single click, the commission has been paid and it shows as completed. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!